Hello and welcome to Zach Runner 3 TV. Today we're going to be racing at the Cars Lane Cup Series here at Iowa. I've seen the NC Series race there recently. Um, I don't know where our next race is. I'd have to look. But uh, this is uh, definitely another oval on the circuit. we got Jacob Shangle starting, sec uh, starting pole. This is his second pole of the season. Or little nugget. He is second to last in the standings. So this is helpful for him. But I, I, he, would dis he is a big, big long shot for the championship Daytona right now. Daytona Beach. Daytona, oh yeah, thank you for checking that, Reggie. Daytona Beach is next race. Uh, that's actually going to, I think that race is going to be pretty good. They got a new track for that. For that. That's that's going to be fun. Um, that's next week. Uh, this week you got Iowa. Should be good. 38 laps, starting second. is second in standings. And uh, Reggie, you got any thoughts on that? Yes, I do. Only starting up front. And Pink's third. And I can't say yeah, Joy. In the back. Yeah, Joy Paints starting twenty uh, eighth, I think. If I were to look, at, if I, were, I I'm not gonna go back and look qualify as we were looking back. If this race were to finish where it started, Barney Thresher would take the points, uh, the points lead right here and there. Uh, and Joy Paints has held it pretty much all season. Um, and we see in a similar situation in the NCCRS where Frank Chilton was gonna try to take it back from Shred, but uh, that uh, they actually flipped. Uh, almost exactly in positions from start to finish, and Shred will be able to keep that points lead in that series and extend it uh, for the NCCRS. So we could see a repeat here, maybe not. Angela took in third in standings, who's trailing not too far back, but far back enough to where he could be a viable threat. He is less than 50 points behind. He's starting just outside the... Uh, Top 10, I think. Uh, and he's he was really good here last year. Was good at North Wilkesboro. These types of tracks do tend to lean towards his favor. Did well at Chicagoland. So we'll have to see what he does. He's been pretty consistent lately. So I, didn't, I don't expect much less. And Bird, of course. Fourth in standings. Ooh, that's actually not a great starting spot. Let's expect a little better. Unfortunate. And then NH, who's been under the radar, very consistent. Wow, he started up third, uh, fourth. Uh, finished very well last week. Was could have been a threat for the win if it was a little bit longer for sure last week at Denver Motorsports Park, but that did not happen, so uh, here he's starting fourth, and then fifth place starting, uh, I've so many seen Sean Ard there starting sixth. Uh, you got any more thoughts or anything, Reggie? Uh, no, I don't say. Alright, and then we got last week's winner. Uh, it was uh, on uh, championship hangover, Evan H, who appears to have once again met the championship hangover on Qualify, was second to last in standings uh, soon before the uh, race at Denver Motorsports Park, which he won, led a lot of laps at. He's not, he's still got a lot of work to do, but if he keeps some consistency going, he could definitely dig himself out of that hole in his teammate, uh, Zevil, who's starting a lot better than he is in. Ran here well in the NCCRS last. There's Lisa Warner. Not. He's actually starting up front. Uh, could have a good day for him. He is. He is actually last in points. Looking for another top ten. Finished just outside last week. Um, and you see uh, Devil who started just a little bit up front. Then last thing to note, I think uh, Ian Styles. We're going back to part-time drivers. Abigail Lane left the series, so uh, Ian Styles is going to be the first of the rotation for the part-time drivers in the Cup Series, and uh, he's going to be driving to 86 today. Uh, hope he does well. But uh, nonetheless, let's talk about uh, Jacob Shangle starting pole. Uh, hasn't had a lot of luck. Neither is his team under Roach, so hopefully he can get something going. Uh, yeah, not really else much to say there. We're going to go ahead and uh, let them call the start. Drivers, start your engines! I don't like those engine sounds. The start or the uh, and, uh yeah. I was concerned there was someone was gonna blow an ignition on the start. That was my that was my concern. But uh, uh, Reggie, you want to call weird. it? Reggie, I'm gonna that's go. Not weird, mate. I'm gonna go helicopter because you know how it clips out on TV two TV one. So I'm gonna let you call it. Green, 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 boogity, boogity, boogity. Man, 
He really got a good start, yes. Leader can't jump to start, because, well, the leader. Three wide. Somewhere. <laughs> 24, Dark X Rain has been the quieter of his teammates as we are under caution now. They're going to race the yellow flag. Uh, they may already be under yellows. The 10's going to hit the wall there. So 64 going to take the yellow flag. Marty Thresher falls back a bit. Looks like some of the cars in the back are falling back. I'm not sure why. I think Bird may have a good POV as uh, Jacob Chang is going to let those guys by. Uh, so let's see what happened here. Uh, lap so start. They didn't make it very long. Oh, this is before that. So who wrecked here? Oh, seven at Dissec. Oh, that's before that. Zevil. Port. Uh, we got a. Not a weeb. This was on lap two. Wow, that. That's weird. Weird angle to wreck at. I think got into the 82 of gaming freaks. So we're gonna go slow mo here. So. See, not a weeb. He's slipping up. Gets into the 82. Gaming freak. Boom. Hits drummer chick 81. Drummer chick saves it. Only able to avoid. 7 unsuccessful. 60 unsuccessful. 45 unsuccessful. I think the 97 came out somewhat scot free after that. Uh, and 48 just all in for the ride. 97 did get some damage though. Yeah, that's that's what happens. As what's going on here? Uh, this is abnormal. What are we doing? All right, so there's a pace car. What's what are they doing back there? In the seven. What are they doing? What? I am lost. So I'm gonna extend this caution flag a couple laps hey, until they figure why this is out. Why is both my cars on the racetrack? My money on the alliance. Wait, hold on. What? Both of them uh, are on the racetrack? Okay. <sighs> and then my alliance car is on the Yeah, money lion. Alright, so I guess they're getting it figured out. Zach, my Alliance car is right behind them. I no, don't see it. Okay, they got that figured out. Uh, go back uh, go back to me and go back in the camera. No, that's, right there. That's the 28. That's not Alliance. Oh, okay. That's Hamelin. Yeah. Silly, that. silly goose. Alright, so I had a couple laps of the yellow because I don't frankly know what they were doing there. I guess they got it figured out. I think the last running car was Gift Jordan. Or, uh, probably, let's see, the 99's back there. 71 may be the last running car right now. Yeah, he's last place, I believe. Check the standings, see if there's any DNFs. No. Alright, so we're going to go back to the front. 64 of Jacob Shangle. At, uh, Dripsy there. I think we're good to go green this time. Glad we had a couple laps of the pace. That was good. Smart. Do a helicopter to make sure there's no restart violation, but... Man, this track... I think there's going to be one. I hate to say it. Ah, uh, 54. We're going to have to watch close. If he gets a restart violation, I don't think it's going to hurt him too bad in terms of standings, but he doesn't need to do that. Ah, uh, yeah, he's Ooh. he's good. He's good. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't even make a car length. It's a better restart for sure, but it's legal. Heck, 64 is going to take it back. 64 could get his first career win here today. Ooh, 54 up the track. Uh, I 
that was a lot less bad than what I was expecting. But hopefully they're going to the end here. It looks like everyone. Wow, that's 67 there. Sean Ard, full send, full send, Sean. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, Lethal Mourner up here. Top five run by that 44 car right now. That's impressive. Oh, 13. -0. Crazy BGD going three wide. He's going full sin. He's been very quick and will actually go for the pass and take it. Impressive. As 59 has gotten around the 54 away. I think he was already in front of him, but 54 might have been pressuring him for a spot. We'll have to see. Barney Thresher is in a point right now. He could get his fourth win of the season and take the points lead. That is big. No one, I don't believe anyone's won four races in one season in a long time. Let's go back here. Daniel Pauls Jr. battling hard with his teammate uh, Jonah Burridge just outside the top 10. Again, we'll go back to this, this upfront run right here, see if there is any battle or I think that 64 may just be playing fast. We'll have to see how the tires and stuff figure out. I'm watching here in the back a little bit closely. Uh, oh, three wide there. 89 of, or the 10. Ricky Freeman Jr. Oh, he's going to slide up. Oh, hit the wall just a little bit. That's going to cost him some time. In that 10 car. 60 of Cody Forge also getting pinned four wide. Three wide, rather. Oh, 32 spins him. Caution's out, I think. Should be anyway. 32 of Exo has put out our second yellow of the race. They almost survived it caution free. So now Barney Thresher is on the top chopping block. If he's on uh, pressure, can't do any restart violations. He is in a spot right now. He could take the points lead. Out of it. Then again though, let's talk. Let's be real here. It wouldn't cost him a whole lot in standings, but still be costly from a points lead standpoint. Oh, Gunther's in top top five. That's interesting. You also see uh, Sean Ard fifth, who has been full sending every corner to get there. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the crash replay. Um, I seen it happening too. Uh, there's, it was it was kind of bound to happen. So, man, I hate this camera angle. So helicopter is really our best bet for this track. I hate this track when it comes to that. So let's go slow mo. Okay, I like roof cam too, but we'll do slow mo helicopter here. So let's see. Bobby Isaac didn't need that. He was uh, he gained a lot of spots on that start too. This is I mean it's t ten spots. It's impressive. Do you will, but. Yeah, enjoy paints not having a great race. Dissect course of damage, but okay. Uh, 32 actually slid up into the 10 here. Ran, they they could have saved that. 32 ran out of racetrack. Arguably spun themselves. Birdie able to avoid, and then you got Bobby Isaac. Bobby Isaac caught up in it. No one really got any big damage there, and uh, seeing that. The runs weren't bad. I think everyone's still in contention. Well, I wouldn't say in contention, but have cars that can finish this race without having to get disqualified. The two yellows, 14 laps in. Not too bad. We're going to go to our pace car. See what its thoughts are on pace right now. Not going green this time. So I'm going to pause the game real quick. Tab out. Turn on our green white checkers i'm also going to check the ticker i don't know what it's looking at right now so uh yeah i like what the ticker's saying i like that that's good uh we're gonna go and go back live ticker is looking good crazy bgd with fastest lap according to the ticker and he is just outside the top 10 i'm just gonna pull up our standards real quick see the top 10 uh sean ard uh six crazy bgd seventh sean uh sammy the box Lethal Mortar still holding in the top 10. NH consistent. I believe uh, Daniel Paul is looking for his third top 10 in a row. And just a few guys outside the top 10 are still running pretty good. So, yeah. Well, Reggie, you got any thoughts on that? Uh, yeah. All right. So, I, if I, Barney Thresher is in a really tough spot right now. He wants a good it's start. Paint. Drips. Say that again? It's the paint in the back. Yeah, paints paints in the back right here. Yeah, Barry Thresher isn't really yeah. Joy Paints not running really good at all. Uh, didn't run good last week either. I guess they kind of in a slump right now. It's, they don't need um, 
They could lose the points lead this race right here. This could be it. Marty Thrasher, the third right now. Uh, we're going green this time, by the way. He, he's got to be real careful on the start. If he jumps it uh, and gets a car length ahead, like we've seen Matthew Hill do in the NCCRS race on Frank Shilton, it's over. Well, if he gets a start like Dripsy got, I think it's also over because you've seen how well that 64 was able to manage these starts. That 64 is playing this race so good right now. Um, but we'll have to see if this restart holds true to uh, being clean. Again, the rule is if there is a car length in between the, the leader on the second and the second place car from the second place car on the af at the start finish line, the black flag will be sent to the driver committing. That was the cleanest restart I have ever seen at this track. That was great. Martin Thresher played it clean, but I still think it's going to cost him. Oh, he's going to lose some time here. And his position as Dripsy is going to be able to take second place. But still, he could take the points lead fairly easy right now. If Joy Pants doesn't have a good race. Well, right now, just hoping it stays green to the end. We need some green flag racing. See if we can get some faster cars. Dripsy in a great spot, too. Are we already under yellow again? Wow. Are yep. you kidding me? Man, that sucks. That sucks. I was really hoping we could get a good run, green flag run. 45 out of the race with some piston issues. I don't know if that, I don't think I was related to that wreck, but he was out of that first wreck, so we got one car out of the race. I think the 11 -ish of uh, m &H last turn car. Man, these two teams have really been consistent uh, lately, but have not been able to keep it keep it uh, the same. That 11 may just be... Oh, no, this... This all right. So go helicopter cam to so Evan H. He was running fair. I'm not gonna say he was running great. Mid pack at bet. Oh, 21 of Birch Crown Jr. got spun out by the 20. 20 also hit the wall. Oh man, Geff Jordan, Bradley Ream. Oh, Brad Stover. 20 able to save it. 11, 28, 21. Oh wow, 89. I think that's it. Um. That was a pretty nasty wreck, especially for the 21. Um, 11 didn't need that. From a season standing standpoint, I don't know what to expect, but all four of those cars there that are last place right now are looking really not good, especially Roberto Crown Jr. because he is like, when it comes to standings, uh, he is right there on the cut line. So Reggie Fogelman, um, I know you're in the booth, but uh, could get inside that playoff picture just from that one wreck. Um, again, we'll have to see how everyone else finishes out seeing that uh, Crazy BG... Or seen, well, I think Crazy BG is only... Jonah Bird's running out okay as well. But. Oh, that's irritating. So, can we finally get a green restart? <laughs> or a green flag run in this race? Three wrecks. All... That last one was... All of them could have fairly been avoidable. If it just... The cars were a little bit further apart. Just a little bit. Man, uh, we got three drivers here that could get some pretty capitalized, capitalizing wins here that are right behind this leader right now who's been holding so clean, so strong this race. I mean, hasn't had a lot of chance to prove much, but I think they really got the faster car here. Um, even if they did have a green flag run, I think you'd be able to keep it up. Well, we'll have to see how tire management and also stuff comes in. I'm hoping we get a green flag run in. Uh, I hope it goes green on after uh, green to the end after that last restart. But if not, overtimes are an option. And I kind of hope we don't get those, but if we do, that's extra points. So, we'll have to watch. So far, the 64 has led all 21 of them. That's going to be great points day for him, regardless where he finishes. Um, well, actually, I wouldn't say great. I would say pretty good. Um, in, in a regardless where he finishes standpoint, but... Finishes, wins, sweeps, that'd be a great, great day at the shop. And you also put him in the Rookie of the Year contention because we only had two rookies win this season. That's Sean Ard and Jeff Jordan. Sean Ard right there in fourth place. He'll be looking good, too. Well, Reggie, I know the last three started. I didn't give you a chance to call it. Uh, this one I'll go ahead and let you call. You know how we are with the restart violation thing, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dripsy getting a another another shot at the chopping block. 
He's got some laps led though, so it's not a bad day in the shop if he does get that penalty. If he does jump the start, so we'll have to see. Or jump the start, the car like that. A great start there. Oh, 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 we could see the 59. Oh, pokes his head in, doesn't quite. Oh! 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 No, dude! Sean R just about spun out Dripsy there. I don't know if he saw that, but that is changes everything. Yeah, part of it. And there's still three wide. Oh. I it's not over yet. You got sh you got Roach up here, three wide. I think they finally figured it out. But back to the front we go. Oh my gosh, that restart was insane. So hey, it's so far back. hey Zach, it's so far. Yeah, it's ten laps or well, not quite ten laps to go. We still got a little bit, little bit of racing to go. Seaman of Ox has found himself in third place somehow. Not sure how that happened. What happens on restarts is beyond me. But can we finally get a green flag run? Neil Pulse right there battling with Sean Ard for uh, eighth place. He's got a little bit of damage too. Uh, he was involved in that first wreck, I believe. Has a little bit of damage on the side. That or might have got hit in the wall once, but running fairly well. That looks coming on the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom, yep. The five. Count the five, Reggie Fogelman approaching the top ten right now, right behind uh, Jessica. Man, he is. I will say this much: that is seeing some speed we've seen last week. He was really, really fast last week. Front finished twenty, started twenty fourth, finished eleventh last week. It's been rockets uh, all season so far. Back to the leaders, though. I think, really, that 64 is just quicker. That 23 may be quick, too. He hasn't really shown a lot. This is a great time to find something. And if I'm Barney Thresher, I'm looking that line, seeing what he can do different to catch that uh, 64. is Crazy BGD going for fourth place here from NH. Dripsy still running up front as well. Lethal Mourner having a great day. As we are coming to go, tend to go this time by, the 17 looks like he's going to fall back some. Oh! and Porter got together. He almost got spun oh, on that oh, last oh. restart. It was almost over on that last restart. Sean Ard went full send <laughs> off the corner. <laughs> almost spun out Dripsy. <laughs> full send Sean Ard. Then you got Neil Pauls looking for that top 10 streak. Oh, that 59's right there. He's found something. I was thinking about that. Barney Thresher has been searching. He's got a rookie in front of him now. Granted, he's not too far in himself. Four wins in a season is insane. And Barney Thresher, his yeah, one position. What? Yeah, they're full wide in the back. They're full wide in the back. Oh. Oh, they're not four wide. But... They were. Yeah, that happens. Oh, that don't surprise me. They've been racing really hard. Really hard. We'll go back to the front, though, see if Barney Thresh has been able to do much. Well, he got to him, but couldn't do anything. I see. Ah, slipped up there. That could be it. Jacob Channel's been playing it so clean. Well, now I don't think. He's run up front. He hasn't really ran a green flag run. What's well, he really got Here left? Comes. Here comes Bob. Right, here's Sammy the Box. Sammy Box in 23. Yeah. That's something too. But Sammy Box battles Barney. It's it's over for both of them. Now. I think that 64's got the win. But even then, I think that 64's just able to play the blocking game on that 59 car just enough. And right now, it's looking pretty bleak for Joy Paints in that points lead. Uh, 28th is not enough to defend, I don't think. But, you know, just one race. Cause all it takes is one race to flip it back. So we'll have to see. They got anything for Jacob Shangle, who's been dominant this whole race. Has been able to play the starts and is arrow washing that 59. Doesn't know if he. Ha I don't know if he has better tires or what. These three cars specifically appear to be better than that 13. I think that 25, 23 is just a little bit worse than the 59, but the 59 is a little bit 
a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't even say he's better than the 64. But we'll have to see here if he is able to get yeah, around him. Two to go this time by, it's just that 64 is, they're both really fast. No one's slowing up in the corner any more than the other, much more than the other. It's really just battle of the wits here, who's quicker than the other. Ah, slipped up, that could be it. That might be it. Yeah, 59 slipped up. I think that's race. Coming to the white flag. We'll go helicopter for these last two laps because TV1 sucks. One lap to go. Jacob Shangle, he's got a whole three car lengths between him and Barney Thresher, who's about to take the points lead. Just a couple corners left. Played it right. Had the faster car. Pretty much just no one else had any enough for him. And Jacob Shangle will win his first career race and add himself to the Rookie of the Year battle here at Iowa. As Joy Paints... For the first time this season, we'll finish 24th and that we'll lose the points lead. I'm fairly certain we'll lose the points lead. There is a slim chance she may keep it, but I would not bet on it. They're going to pit road. So, that was interesting. Reggie, you got any thoughts on that? I do one. I do that one, Zach. Sam in the box, first top five in the season. For his third. Well, let me see if I can fact check that. I think they had one other one. Yeah, they this will be their second top five of the season. They got their other top five a couple weeks back, I think. But No, I'm talking about Sam in the box. Yeah, Sam in the box, yeah. They're this fourth. Be his first top five. No, this will be his second top five. Oh Yeah, he's uh fourth to last in the standings right now, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, Jacob Shangle, you see, you see your finishing results scrolling across the top there on our ticker there. Let me know what you think of that. I don't see those so good. Well, it's because I'm streaming the, streaming the, uh, uh, track, not the, not the actual broadcast, but yeah. Um, anyways, though, next race, as Reggie said in the beginning, Daytona Beach. Uh, oh, But yeah, um, that's gonna be that, that's gonna be fun in the sand. Uh, I think so. Yes. But yeah, uh, as for me, Reggie Fogelman, Cars Lane Cup Series, and whoever built this track at Iowa, thanks thanks for building it and making it public. And uh, we will see you at the Daytona Beach course next race.